What up, happy people? It is, what's today? Wednesday. <laughs> we just came back from small group um, with my, with some of my church Miss members, families. And, um, yep, it was her birthday today. And, it is. yes, when they see it, it'll be, it was. Today is her birthday. Anyway, Wednesday. Um, we are, today's day two, I'm about to finish putting up, uh, not putting up, but putting down the moat over there, um, like I did yesterday, and doing also the sides over here with the watermelon and, um, and peppers and onions, so I'm going to put all of the mulch back here. I think I'm going to plant some sunflowers today. I'll plant them back here. It'll be the mammoth sunflowers. Um, I'll do that. And the chickens. Yeah, the chickens. The chickens are... They're out. They're just chilling. And they're, the kids were like, why are they fighting? I was like, well, they're not really fighting, fighting. It's more of they're establishing pecking order. And so it's actually really cool to watch. I watched them, you know, bring their arms up and kind of kick their feet out at each other. So homeschooling the kids have been really, really fun for that reason right there. They get to actually experience animals and agriculture and whatnot but anyway I, i'm rambling on and i'm usually walking I, I don't have any balloons yeah so i'm gonna just let me get this work going before it gets super hot This nasty little thing. Ew, feed it to the chickens. I'm not mom. sure if I have a really bad infestation, but I'm gonna have to feed it to the chickens. I am going to. Ew! Ah! I'm gonna get it. I'll feed it to them. I'll give it to them, mom. Mom. I'll hold the scissors. Okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna figure this out before I eat all my stuff. Cause I'm gonna be super sad. What does it feel like? It's a worm. Oh, ew, I'm not picking that up. It's a grub worm. They eat your, do, don't, do not put them in the bed, okay? They can stay in there, that's fine. Who, who wants to eat one? Me. Who? Uh, Judah? I think the worst part about putting this down is tearing them up. Well, tearing them apart and then Placing them in these little tiny crevices. I'm almost done. I gotta clean out all the weeds from there. And underneath there. Probably can't see it, but underneath there. Okay. Woo. Hello, people. Wait, you can't see me. You just see me. All right. I'm almost done. I have put all of what's this tarp down, and I'm sweating. I just have to clear out this area right here that area maybe put some more tar tarp down and then I'm gonna put the mulch down and I'll come back yeah. and I'll let you guys see it Take maybe let up. the kids help me spread it all around originally if you see my first that one of my videos of putting this down and me talking about the rain the water in our ground holds a lot of the water so I didn't want a lot of my plants just sitting in water so I had to build a um, um, what's this box called? A raised bed. I had to build the raised bed. And so 
that's why this is outside of there. I asked my husband to get the one that was supposed to fit the box, like the, the wood that was supposed to fit the box, but he didn't have enough room in his car. So we are making do with what we have, which is fine because this is fun. This is, this is growing food for my family. It doesn't have to be perfect. And that's one of the things me and my friend were talking about today. The world just wants perfection. And not everything has to be perfect. You think they had all these back in the day? No, they grew food the best way they knew how, and they fed their families. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. All right, we're about to put the mulch in. And did you know, guys, I got a big boom. I blew that up. Yep. All right. I just got this. We're gonna play a game! Yeah! To get this, this on the day up! Yeah! yeah. I know Auntie Sink's gonna help, so he's just definitely underestimated how many bags I'm gonna need I'm debating on whether I should wait for my father-in-law and then he can put them all in the truck for me yeah. or just go with the kids and get maybe about I think 10 bags 10 it's bags and just load them in there I think I might do it I think they're like two something because we need more basket I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go I'm gonna go guys all right guys before my phone dies i'll show you here is i think i'm gonna put maybe one more bag no maybe one more bag in this area and here is the other area i think i might put some more mulch on this side actually not that side but definitely over here and there and there so i'm gonna stand back see it a little bit it's coming alive y'all it's coming alive coming alive i'm excited i need to move that bag other side looks looks good i do have to put some um straw down for the peppers um i'm not sure if i'm gonna put something down for the melons i should though because it'll be easy peasy well not easy peasy i should say um it would be better for the melons that i don't plan on putting over the loop so yeah oh guys these chickens have made my raised bed a dust bath <laughs> you see this after they had like a field day pecking at my stuff. I have Australian LARP. I think that's how you say the name of the chickens. Um, I'm surprised they haven't come towards my toes. Every time they're polished, they, they come towards them. Oh my gosh, I don't know if I should just take them out or what. I think I'm going to just get them. I'm going to get them a bath and maybe sit it right in this area. And this will be their dust bath. Because that's going to get covered. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. 